Shadows are softer, colors are richer, and the warm light casts a golden glow on everything it touches. It's showing as we're coming. My dog. Hasu ya tsunga? Don't stop it. Welcome back to my channel and as you see in this Dare to Decorate episode we're doing another Zara haul and actually I bought things from the two new collections from Zara, the Golden Hour and then Wana Peppa. So I just wanted to go through the collection with you, explain a little bit and then we'll, I'll give some suggestions what I think are cool, what I think is good to maybe invest in and decorate with and then I'm going to show you what I bought. So, the first collection that I want to talk about is called the Golden Hour. And this is basically described as shadows are softer, colors are richer, and the warm light casts a golden glow on everything it touches. It seems like that with this Golden Hour collection, they're showing that as the summer is coming and in that beautiful evening time, bringing your socializing and your eating experience outside in the fresh air in the beautiful, beautiful summer evenings. So I'm looking through here right now. Let's scroll, scroll through. Yeah, that's what it's showing, the beautiful lights. I see some nice vases that I wanna go through the whole collection here before I make a stop. All the beautiful pictures. Okay, there's some in and dining. Oh, and then some nice summer linen bedding. Cause we're going away from that thicker winter bedding. The golden hour, that's pretty. I wonder where they photographed this. So I'm going back to some things that caught my eye. Let's start here with this setting. You guys know that I have a new dining table and I am trying to get my eating experience in order here. So I'm always looking for new dishes, new things so I can set my table. This porcelain plate is gorgeous. I like the beige color but with that little bit of speckled effect in the stoneware, gorgeous. And they also have it in this beautiful green color. You guys know I love green and my living room is accented with very light gray greens, which I wanna bring over here also to the dining area. Okay, let's go back and see what they have next. Oh, this large bowl is nice. This is always good for big salads and cold pasta dishes in the summer. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think my list is already growing. I'm checking the size of it. Yeah, it's almost as wide as a typical plate. So let's keep going. What do they have here? Some baskets. And when I click there, okay, we have the stool. We have a beautiful vase. And then there is just showing the green version of the plates in a different setting. I do like this linenware here. Linen napkins are always gorgeous. That green color is also right up my alley. But I wonder, the beige is probably also beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. What do we have here? Some more stoneware. Click on this. Okay, now we're into the bed area. I love linen on my bed. I like that look of a longer um, bed cover. I have the typical, you know, thicker down comforter. It doesn't hang all the way down because I have a bed that has a slip cover on it, so I have which is actually made of linen which is then uh, hangs to the floor. So I have the more shorter bed spread, but I like this look. I really like this look. And look, they have a blue color. That looks pretty. But let's go down. 
Yeah, that's gorgeous. And this is, it says Faden Dichter 140, so thread count 140. Let's see if they have white. That sand fiber is also sand fiber. Listen, my half English, half German. Okay, they have a stone color and a cream color. Doesn't look like they have a pure white. I like my linen to be pure white. Um, like I said, my slip cover on my bed, I'll show you guys B-roll so you can see my bedroom, is pure white. So if I had a beige comforter on there, it would probably clash. That quilt looks nice. I'm looking down at some of the extra suggested articles that go with this. Okay. Okay, here's one, two. Is that cream color or white? It's also cream color. This is a quilt. This is just a large quilt to throw. Uh, but it's only made for 135, 140, and 150 centimeter beds. Mine's a 180. I have what I think you call a California queen. And um, so I have to have an oversized one to uh, make it larger or hang all the way to the floor. This is what I'm showing you here. See the last measurement there, 260 times 240 centimeters? That's what I would need, but unfortunately this does not come in white so okay you guys i saw some cute things there i'm liking this bed look making it very summery your bedroom ideas to make your bedroom really summery for the warm weather coming i'm just going back through and see if there's anything i missed i want to look at again okay that was cool so that was the golden hour the plates look great Okay, now let's go to the next one here. And that is called At Home with Juana Peppa. Now, I did not know who she was. I had to Google her. And she happens to be an Argentinian cook that li lives in um, Madrid with her family. And she's, uh, I'll put also up here her Instagram. She um, is a cookbook author and everything in life that has to do with the table. So I told you I needed ideas for my table. So let's go then through her collection here. Let me go back. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. At home with Juana Peppa, click. Okay, and it looks like she did Something similar to what Athena Calderon did. She curated from the existing collection, probably a lot from the Golden Hour from Zara and using her expertise, everything having to do with the table. She's picked out some of her favorite pieces here to set your table and to cook with. I'm just scrolling through all the pictures before I stop and let me stop here some nice kitchenware okay that second little vessel I have all oh, these wooden utensils are cute I like those and black frames for the kitchen pepper meal all kitchen utensils oh these wood ones are cool I like those The casserole dish is nice. Let's go back and see what I want to click on. Let's click on this casserole dish. Oh, that's nice. The casserole dish, it says aus reaktivem Steingut. I guess that's reactive uh, stoneware. It looks like it's been somehow treated when they glazed it. It looks a little bit like lava. That's cool. What size is that? It's 17 centimeter. It's a little small, but I do need a smaller one. That's cool to do, to use, to have. Okay, these are cool. These are uh, wood spoons with a silicone covering. I like cooking with just pure wood. I'm not sure if I would like the silicone, but for somebody that likes that, to have a like non-sticking element. That's also cool. Come on, here is a whisk. That's kind of cool. Maybe that can go in my collection because when you're whisking out batter or sticky stuff, you like that it's easy to clean. And I find it better as metal. The one I have is covered in silicone, but red silicone. So maybe I get one that's covered in white. 
and I want to look at these wood, these darker wood. What kind of wood is that? It doesn't say, but that's really cute. I like that. I like that little detail in the middle of the handle that almost gives it a bamboo. Here's some of the other articles that are pertaining to it. Yeah. Oh, look, these get um, also a little um, container out of that lava. Oh, that's cool. So go with the casserole dish. That's really cool to keep you a little bit of flour, sugar, or any kind of dry goods in there. I like that. That's gorgeous. I like how it has that brown just peeking through the black so it doesn't make it so harsh with just the black color. Okay, let's continue going down. What is that there? Oh, that glass vase is cool. That is cool. How tall is that? Oh, that's 30 centimeters high. That's what, a foot? A foot high? I like that. And it's a uh, blown glass. Gorgeous. I can see putting beautiful flowers in there. That other vessel I already have. Now this is cute. I do like this little lamp here. And some more candles. Ah, those beige tapered candles. You can never have too many beige tapered candles. I'm definitely gonna put that in my shopping cart. Do I really like that lamp? I like the brass look of it. It's really cool. I just gotta figure out where I could put that. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea where I could put that. I like that a lot. 70 bucks? Hmm. I wonder if I could find one on eBay or Etsy, a really vintage one that I can like, you know, pep up. I'm not sure if 70 bucks is a price. Ah, and then has, and she has now here recipes. Okay, she's included recipes from her cookbook. That looks great. That salad, these plates are gorgeous. Here, I like that plate. And then of course she chose also from the, that is gorgeous. I like how it's so organic and not flat. And I'm quite sure those could mix well with the other plates that I saw. Yeah. Those are gorgeous. And I also saw that she also here chose the green linen napkin. Okay, let's go back and see if I missed anything. Ah, this deeper bowl is cool. I like larger bowls for like pasta dishes or large salads. I eat a lot of salads in the summer, just with everything thrown on it. And I like having a very big, deep bowl. Okay, here's some of the other articles. There's a smaller bowl. There's a coffee cup. Okay, that's the deeper bowl I looked at. That's the smaller plate. Yeah, that's the smaller one. A dessert plate. That's also cool. Like, I like, I like. That's definitely going in my wish list. And like I said, she has, okay, then those are the smaller bowls, the typical smaller side bowl. But I really like that craftsmanship on that. And for 10 bucks, it's not a lot. And like I said, she, I can see that she chose also the same linens from the um, open hour, these uh, linen and napkins she also has here in her curated collection. So, yeah, that's it right there. That's the same linen napkin that I liked in the green color. She's chosen that too. Okay, that's a nice denim color, but that's not my color. We got a sand color, and then we have the cream, which I like also. That's cool. I kind of like that fork and knife. Do I want everything wood? I think I'm overdoing it right there. Let's go back and let's see if there's anything I missed. Oh look, I didn't realize you could click on the first pick or either I forgot to. This gold canister is gorgeous. I like this. But if you guys remember in my huge vintage and thrift haul, I actually bought a true vintage one very similar to this, but I do like this look. 
We got some more of her recipes here. Vitello tomato. Now I like vitello tomato, but if you're like me and don't support eating veal, I have made it before very thinly sliced turkey or chicken. It tastes just as good. What makes it excellent is the creme fraiche and the tuna fish um, sauce and the um, capers. But these recipes really look good. Believe me, I'm gonna be copying these and uh, that looks good, poppy seed dessert right there with mango and her relaxing in her garden. Okay guys, we've gone through the collection. You probably already know what I bought because of course I'm telling you what I was putting on my wish list. My wish list was already two weeks ago and the things have already been delivered. So of course I went for the plates and I went for the beige set. Alex would give me one of the large plates behind him of this one. Exactly. Because I already went back to Zara's store and went ahead and bought some more plates because I love them so much. But I got the large plate in the beige, as you see here. Got the smaller plate. And I wanted to see how really large this bowl was. For pasta and large salads, probably not as big for large salads, but a nice like uh, cold pasta dish. That's great for it. But of course, I bought the smaller one to go with it also. So I got that beige set and I said, okay, let's see how good the green looks. So of course, I bought the green in the larger plate. And in the green, just to try it out first, I only got the smaller bowl and I have the smaller plate here and I also picked up because I love chargers I love chargers I picked up this one charger here in the lighter Bretin. I thought that was so gorgeous for only $6.99 because I love placing under now guys to show you some b-roll because this looks great when you have all three colors together looks great you can mix and match the other charger I bought to see if I liked it this beautiful wood look. I think that is so gorgeous. And you'll see how you can mix in the colors together. The green looks just as good with the beige together. I can play with the design. And then also what I picked up is the stoneware plates also that was in one of Peppa's collection. I love this. This is so gorgeous. And this, I feel like mixed with the green, looks so gorgeous. And do you guys remember the beautiful onyx goblets that I bought during my huge thrift vintage haul? Look how beautifully they work with the settings. I really like that look. I like that look very much. And I'll show you the other pieces I got. I went ahead and picked up both size bowls here. Even together. I love how that just works together if you start off with a small appetizer for the smaller bowl. I just love this, how it's just not even. It looks like each piece is different. Each piece is different. And then next you go to a soup. Yes, that's very nice. And then you have a quick salad or some kind of between meal fish. And then of course, the large plate, what I already showed you. And I'm gonna show you guys here different ways that I've put it together, mixing and matching. And you'll see in these pictures, I did go ahead and buy one set of the beige linen napkins and one set of the green which i'll show you right now i take these out i haven't even opened it yet and each set comes two i love how they're so crinkly and so relaxed and casual i am not a person that's going to be ironing my linens for my table no 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 so that they're like this and 
beautifully set. I just like them because they're casual, they're wrinkly, and I just love the colors. I just love the beige and the beautiful green color here. You guys know I love green. The sage green is just so awesome and going, fitting with my Uretan bubble lamp up here and my new table, it's great. Okay, so you guys see, I did take some of the suggestions from both collections on dishes, bought them to get me some ideas, and I'm going to just play and set and see how many more if I need of this and everything. Eventually my table is going to be able to fit eight. Actually, I was thinking about changing my idea and not having a completely round table. I might do a very wide, you know, split round and stretched out. Maybe I can get 10 people here. So I'm gonna have to get some more dishes in here, but let's go on to what else I invested in. Now, I went ahead, like I said, I bought the beautiful dark utensils here. The, um, I thought about getting this spoon that had the holes in it, but I just thought with it being wood and with food getting caught in there, it's probably not as easy to like, really clean and get it out of the hole. So I thought I liked the deepness of this spoon. It just looks like a really old piece from some farm or medieval times. I don't know. It just looks really cool and I love this spoon. And I like the idea of having some darker wood. Like all my utensils are light. And if you remember, oh, bring this in here. If you remember from my haul from Athena Calderon, I bought this vessel to put all my wood utensils in and sitting in my kitchen counter. And as you see, all these are light wood. So now, mixed with the dark wood in there, I'm gonna get some more. I just really, I just feel like it gives it a little bit of variation and a little bit more like lived look and used look. Cause I do use them, I do love to cook. So, bought those. And while I was looking for some other maybe uh, utensils with wood handles, I found these gorgeous brass and wood measuring cups. I like this type of brass. This is not too orangey, but it's also not too golden. It's not too shiny. It's brush colored. Of course, you have your cup, half a cup, third cup, fourth cup. And I find these so gorgeous. I don't have anything hanging in my kitchen, but I think this ting, ting, ting sounds like cowbells, like I'm on the farm with all the cows. Um, <laughs> ting, ting, ting. <laughs> I just, uh, I might find a place to hang these because these just look so gorgeous to hang in. I do have some other brass accent in my, I have a very navy blue and white kitchen. So this color always looks very good with the uh, my color combination in my kitchen. And I can't wait to bake. I can't wait to bake and be able to use these. Oops. Okay, that's a little bit too loud. Okay, what are we gonna go on to next? This is another wood piece I found. You can never not have too many spoon holders. If you like me and you have marble or a sensitive stone on your kitchen counters, you're very careful in what you lay down everything. If I'm making a bolognese or have something else on the spoon, you don't wanna lay down that counter. So I always love having extra spoon holder so when I'm cooking I can lay the dirty spoon next to the stove and I this beautiful wood one like I said it wasn't in any of the collections but they always give you suggested other articles that match down below when you scroll down below and I saw this and I thought this was perfect so I'm glad that I bought that and then I did buy this beautiful casserole dish I think that's perfect. Just so we're going, we're getting into um, asparagus season here, and Germans have a different species or type of uh, um, asparagus is white, and this is perfect for me to serve asparagus in, or even sometimes I'll put my asparagus in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and Parmesan grated Parmesan cheese over it, and this is perfect to go into the oven or just to make a smaller portion of a lasagna because it's just my husband and I. So I cook very often and I love to cook, but I do reduce recipes and cook on a smaller portion that we don't have too much 
leftovers and then they just fill up the kitchen and then they don't always get eaten up. So I love this. And as you remembered, when I was scrolling down some other suggested articles, I said, well, while I'm at it, let me just buy the whole set. So I bought this and I was really surprised how large this was. I don't even remember if I looked at the centimeters or the size, but when I got this, I was like, wow, this is huge. And it has a rubber seal. So whatever you put in there, you can keep fresh. And um, yeah, so I got this and then scrolling further down, there was a third piece in that collection. And what did I just tell you? You can never have enough spoon holders. Yes, they had a beautiful spoon holder. So now I have two new spoon holders and I love these. Everything's gonna be sitting together and I just love how, like I was telling you, how the brown peeks through the black that working with this darker wood is such a beautiful aesthetic look so yeah some new things for my kitchen okay next thing i bought i did invest in this vase i find this so gorgeous a little bit other shape i have mostly very modern straight simple vases or i have big round fishbowl ones but this is this is i didn't have this shape I find it gorgeous. I can see big white primroses coming out of the vase. Beautiful white lilies. I have to be careful with lilies because of my pets. And for you guys that don't know that, the pollen on lilies, all type of lilies, even my favorite flower, Calais lilies, um, can make your animals sick. So you have to be careful where you have them and make sure your cat, especially your cat, cannot get up on the table and uh, play in the lilies and get covered in the pollen because they can land in the hospital with that. So, but I'm gonna be careful what type of flowers I put in here, but I love this. And after I finish this video, I'm probably gonna go to the floors and get some flowers and make sure I have some B-roll for you guys of a beautiful set of flowers in the vase. And the last thing, before we go on to the next category, I don't know if you guys remembered this was also from my Athena Calderon haul. And I think in the video I said uh, I bought the larger one that the smaller one was out of stock. No, this is a smaller one. And luckily when I was placing this order, the larger one was back in stock. So now I have a complete set. I love them together. Um, from Athena Calderon haul, I also bought two of these. This was from her collection. Since then, I don't know what happened to the second candle. I don't know if it accidentally got thrown away in the box. I've looked everywhere. In my chaos here, chaos, I have lost it, but to love me is to love my chaotic life. You guys know I am not the most organized person, so I'll just have to order me some more from Zara. But I love this beautiful color in this beautiful brown, metal, heavy bronze, so I got me that complete set. And of course, like I said, you can never have enough taper candles. And I love these cream colored ones. So I went ahead, whoops, and don't wanna break them. I don't wanna break them. Alex is looking crazy at them. They always come connected like this when they're tapered. You have to cut them apart. Yeah, so we got our beige tapered candles. Okay, you guys. When I was going through the open hour collection, I really liked that look of the longer linen on the bed. I said, I wanna go for that look. Like I said, I have the typical thicker down comforter. We have a thinner one that we use for the summer, but because I have the slip cover and skirt that um, falls from my bed, I really don't need a blanket that goes all the way to the floor, but still I wanted to try it. You saw that the linen, large one and the oversized what I needed the 260 by 240 they didn't have it in white but what I did is for my smaller comforter I went ahead and just bought another linen uh, cover for it and it, it also included with the two larger pillows in there I'll make sure I give you b-rolls and show you um, how I whipped it up in my bedroom in there. So I just got in the regular size comforter, what I have now in 240 by 220, I bought me another set of white linen 
pure linen and actually this one i think this one is the larger count thread count do they have that on here i believe i don't see it on here but i'm quite sure this one is a 160 so it's really a good sturdy linen and like i said mama making is not ironing any kind of table linens and is not ironing any bed linens so this is another thing i love with linen because it can be crinkly and wrinkly and it still looks good so we got that but i still wanted this look of the longer comforter so i found it's not linen but it's a beautiful raised striped white cotton well actually i really don't want to take it out because i don't want to get it dirty but the little like extra carrying bag that they sent it in you can see how beautiful the waffling is the texture when i take my fingers across it and i was able to get this this is pure white in the 260 by 240 the extra oversized i need so of course I had to buy a 260 by 240 summer blanket. So I can't wait to try these different looks on my, oh, I got one more down there I have to show you, but this is gonna be the large size and I'm gonna show you guys also pics of that after I get my bedroom a little straightened up. I don't know about you guys, but my nightstand is like a catch-all for everything. It's always piled up with my computer stuff, my papers, my books, my magazines. I gotta like clean that out before I show you my bedroom. And then what else did I get here? Oh yeah, and then I bought this one also. I think I bought this one in the oversized. Yes, and then I found another oversized with a beautiful white one also with beautiful texture. This is a waffle texture. I'll make sure I show you guys some better close-ups. Again, you can always get the large 80 centimeter pillow uh, covers come with it. And I bought this. So now I have two different looks I can have for the summer with my thin summer oversized blanket for my bed. Did I forget anything? Yeah, I went crazy again, but uh, both of these are collections I can highly recommend. I loved everything that was in the collection. Not everything I particularly needed, but especially if you're looking for new settings uh, or uh, for your dining room and uh, new utensils and kitchen things and those great recipes. I was really reading through them like I said, I printed them all out. As soon as I get everything set up in my kitchen, maybe we'll make a video of me cooking one of Wana Peppa's recipes. So guys, thanks that you stopped by again. I hope I can give you a little bit of information and um, spark your curiosity from the new Zara Home Collections, the Golden Hour and the Wana Peppa. And uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bells and give me a thumbs up. Tell me something down in the comments which you would like me to do better or like to see next time because I'm by on Zara Hall because I'm really starting to fall in love with their curated collections and that they're bringing experts in like Athena Calderon or Juana Peppa, um, women that really know their thing and know their style and can give you good suggestions and you see exactly what they would choose and you can choose it for you too. So I'll see you again. Love, you're making.